Feeling responsible for her, River went back to retrieve Rachel Burroughs, in order to teach her what it means to be an immortal. She brought her to a planet and used her vortex manipulator to jump through its history, so she could see how the people eventually brought on their own destruction, in spite of their efforts to help them. Rachel at some point rebelled and tried to change history, but found out she couldn't. However, River brought her to the moment in time they started their journey, and together they did affect a small change that did not change the future of the planet, but allowed its people to find a solution to survive. When the planet was eventually destroyed by a solar flare, they built rockets and left it for a new home. Rachel then expressed a desire to stay and help the people in their new life. Audio. Slight glimpses of tomorrow. River left Rachel on the ship when it became clear the oxygen supply could not sustain her on board, but told her to call her if she needed her. This happened during an adventure she was having with the Tenth Doctor, which she promptly left to come back to Rachel. She discovered that two crew members of the ship had linked Rachel to the computer on board, using her to navigate, and that a breed of zombified electric eels invaded the ship and was threatening the life of the colonists. She was tempted to leave the ship and the occupants at their destiny, but Rachel insisted to save them and River eventually helped her and another crewmate, Aaron, to do so. Respecting Rachel's decision to stay and help, she left her with the colonists on their new world. Audio. A brave new world.